Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we are going to be looking at a reading at what's crossing your path for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and it can be helpful to the cross watchers who are dealing with, crushing on, or hoping to be with the Leo as well. It's possibly going to give you an insight into what's going on on their end um, of things. So um, before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please feel free to drop a like, to subscribe to the channel, to get updates for when readings for your sign are posted to the channel. Uh, if you are after a private reading, there is availability, so please feel free to shoot me over an email. We can go ahead and try and arrange that for you. Um, otherwise, I did lay out some cards here, and as I was laying them down, I feel like the word idea kept coming to me. So I feel like there is a sudden idea that's crossing your path or is going to be crossing your path very, very soon. And this idea is the Eight of Cups. So I feel like there is something that's going to pop into your mind here. Um, I feel like it's a feeling. So some sort of feeling is going to give you an inspired thought, Leo. Um, and I see you moving towards that. Eight of Cups tells me you're going to take action or you're going to leave a situation. You're exiting or ending some sort of chapter in your life. You're turning your back on a situation. Now, I feel like it's something you've built up. So it's, it's not an easy task to walk away from whatever this is. Now, it might not be forever. It can be a temporary walking away um, or it's turning your back on a situation. Essentially, you're turning back on the moon. So I wonder if this is you turning your back on the past. Someone under the sign of a cancer. Or you're somehow turning your back on your emotions. You no longer want to feel a certain way here, Leo. So you've built something up emotionally, but now you've come to realize through a feeling or through a thought. Now, I want to mention some of you are going to get some premonitions here. All right. So some, some metaphysical activities happening. Okay. It's hovering around you, some psychic activities, some dreams, some visions. Okay. This is heavy duty stuff coming your way. Um, Okay, so it is coming up around you, and I feel like that's going to be the feeling slash thought slash idea that's going to get you to do this Eight of Cups. Now, you may even surprise yourself when you get this idea. It's hard to put into words because I feel like it's an odd sort of feeling that you're going to start feeling, and you're going to act on it. But the Eight of Cups is telling me that something's missing or you want change in some part of your life and you feel like this is going to be the best way to do it. Looking at the situation in more detail, there's something about time. Look at that clock with that Wheel of Fortune. A change needs to happen because it's for the better. But I feel like it's the right time. Something about timing. Things are going to fall into place in the other parts of your life. And you're going to start to feel like it's the right time for you to leave or act or change or separate or cut yourself off or turn your back on or distance emotionally. Whatever this is, the timing, the timing is coinciding with what the universe wants for you. But at the same time, this timing is internal. So that's what makes it all the more powerful. The fact that it's coming from these two things. This is this is big. Okay, I'm not just hyping it up, but I feel like this is big for you, um, Leos out there. Shedding skin. Okay, you're shedding something. It may have repeated this something about a cycle. So I don't know if you've been in this position before or it almost feels like a deja vu moment or a deja vu re re uh, revelation. Um Right, okay, so revelations. I feel like you're being protected in this, which is good, and you'll have protection. So that's that's a bonus. That's that's a positive way of looking at things. Um I, again, I keep getting a surprise or I keep getting people are going to be surprised by the way you act. Someone may want to try to talk you out of this. It could be your person. It could be someone someone that's close to you, though. Okay, It's like they know you very well, or this person can read you very well. And they're going to try to talk you out of it. They'll say a few things. I want to put, put the advice on you. You'll listen. I think you'll be, you know, you'll be listening and you'll be sort of open to what they have to say, but not enough to follow what 
they want. It's going to be what you want. Your emotions and your idea, this thought is the driving factor. Um, possibly, I'm possibly seeing you shut this person down somehow. Uh, you having the last word or the last say uh, or like you leaving someone on, on red. Hmm. Should you want the opportunity to talk about it or to sort of work things through it mentally, they're going to be there for you though. So they'll they'll be available uh, if you want to talk or you want to discuss it. So, I mean, that's a bonus. Yeah, I, I do feel like they'll be there for you. They'll they'll try to they'll try to be there to help you sort out some things. Children may be involved here, or this is maybe coming from your inner child. So you have to respect that. It's a vulnerable part of us. You know that inner child, all these thoughts and memories and emotions and, and all of it that goes into that inner child of us. So I feel like it's your inner child that's screaming out to you. It's telling you to act. You know, it's telling the adult version of you to act or do something because it can't watch you in this state anymore. It's like... You need to help yourself out of this situation. Now, you're very capable of doing this, Leo. Um, but I do feel like people are going to want to talk you out of it somehow. And they'll, there might be like this small seed of doubt in your mind. But at the end of the day, it won't be enough for you to change your mind is what I'm seeing. Okay, we've got those clouds. This is why I think these are the thoughts that pass by. Um, clouds, clouded judgment. But you've got a dark sky here that's crossing your path. So I feel like things might have been dull for a while. Things are things are uncertain. Things are a bit grey. Uh, so I don't think it's something new. That's why I feel like it'll be something that requires your action. Because it's not... You haven't, it, like I, remember I said cycles, the timing is right. Everything just falls into place. And it's like you're getting these signs from the universe. Um, and that like inner child is like begging you to do this, beg, screaming out at you, you know, your higher self spirit. We can call it what we want, but essentially it's urging you to act and it's telling you to act now. Um, you know, not to waste any more time or not to like procrastinate or not to leave it because you're ready. I feel like there's a readiness um, that's coming up around you. But very interesting. I'll leave it there, Leo. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for private readings. Please feel free to contact me directly. Otherwise, uh, thank you again so, so much, everyone. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully we'll be in touch soon. So much love and bye for now.